I want to talk to you about a kit today called Illustory. This is something I purchased for my daughter for Christmas. We went through the whole process. If you're not familiar with what it is, stick around. I'm going to tell you about it and I'm going to tell you what we're going to do differently the next time. Hi, I'm Jamie and this is Simply Learning Together. I am a homeschool mom of four and I want to tell you about this writing kit that we worked on last year. You know, uh, for Christmas I was on the hunt for something productive. I was trying not to purchase junk and um, I came across this kit. And what it is, is you purchase it and they send you the box like this and it comes with everything you need to write a story. When you're finished with your story, you send it back to the company and they print it into a book and ship it back to you. The price that you pay for the kit covers everything. Now, I'm going to tell you this. This is not an ad. This is not a sponsorship. This is just my own personal experience. We actually had some good things and some bad things with it, so I'm going to share them here with you so that you can maybe consider it. It would be a great homeschool writing project or just a fun keepsake for one of your kiddos. I purchased this kit from Amazon. I believe at the time it was between $30 and $40. I have seen it as low as $19.99 on sale, so you can really get it for a great price. I'm sure you can also buy it from their website. The company is Lulu Jr. And I will actually link their website here if you want to go and check it out. I know they have some videos there as well. Let me show you what's inside the box. And then I'm also going to show you the book that we received so you can kind of see how it was printed. One of the things the box comes with is this guide to writing and illustrating your story. There are things in here that tell you exactly what to do. You'll notice that this is a blank. <laughs> We actually didn't use this. I originally intended for this to be just something for fun, but once I got it and saw what a cool thing it was, we ended up making it our final project for our homeschool year. And it really turned out great. So more of what's inside the box. It comes with different types of pages. One of the pages it comes with is just a blank page. Um, you'll notice it has these squares to, to color or write in that space. It also has pages that have space for a picture and for your writing. There are lots of these pages. We ended up with extra. There is a limit to how many pages your story can have. I believe it's up to 18 pages. So that's just something you have to consider as you are planning out your book. One last thing the book comes with is a box of markers. The markers that came in our box were rose art, bright colored, almost neon colored markers. We actually didn't end up using them, and I'm going to talk about that in a minute. They just weren't the right kind of colors that we needed because of the shades that they were. So I would show them to you, but I live in a house with four children and they are long gone. <laughs> it was only six or seven markers and the shades were just kind of odd if you were wanting to do like scenery or something like that. And so we ended up not using them. We used colored pencils. Let's talk about the process of writing this. Like I said, when we started, it was not very serious. I kind of just let her free write a story. And then when I realized how great of a activity it could be for us, then we picked it back up. So unfortunately, there was this long gap of time that we were working on it, and I wish we would have done it in one sitting. The reason is because some of her writing skills are so much different than they were, you know, four months later. So if you're going to do it, I would suggest to commit to it right then and there. It's not a huge difference. I only know it because I'm her mother and I work with her every day. <laughs> but it's just something that next time when we do this, I wanna sit down and do it. I don't wanna spread it out too far where it's taking us months to finish. The way that we did it was I had her write it on a sheet of paper. So she just wrote a rough draft on a sheet of white paper, and then we went back and edited it so that it made sense and the corrections were there. Then we chose which how much was gonna go on each page making sure that we fit the requirement of no more than 18 pages. We decided to go with these for every page. So every page has a picture and some writing. I honestly wish that they had a page with just writing 
my daughter was in second grade when we were working on this and honestly she just wasn't a huge fan of making a picture for every little thing so I kind of wish we could make one picture and have a lot more writing but that wasn't in there so that's just kind of a, a downside for us okay, so I think the next thing I need to do is show you the actual book because it's going to make sense as I explain some of the things that we did the book is actually printed into a hardcover book which is really cool now, you'll notice we wrote the title up here at the top, and this picture she drew with markers. So you'll see the pictures are nice, and, or the colors are nice and bold, and the picture is very clear. I wasn't sure were they going to type the title, should we put it up there? We did just in case, and I'm glad we did. They did also put the title on the side of the book, as well as her name right here on at the top. On the back, there's the cutest little about the author page. So we submitted a picture and wrote a couple of sentences about her. The picture is not really clear. I believe I printed it off my computer. So the quality isn't fantastic, but it is adorable. And I think we will treasure that picture. When you get the book and you open it up, there is a title page and then there is a page for a dedication. So this is the dedication that she wrote to her siblings, which is so sweet. And then your book starts. Let's talk about how this is set up. Here we use colored pencils instead. As you can see, the colored pencils are visible. The, it's obvious what the picture is, but it's not as bright and bold as what you saw on the front. So. If we do this next time, I mentioned to my daughter, we will probably purchase some markers that have a large variety of colors. That way she can do whatever she needs to do and you know, draw in pencil first and then color it in with markers so that the pictures are nice and bold. I think that will turn out a little bit better than the colored pencil. You can also see that the printing is kind of, some of it's light, some of it's dark, and I think that has a lot to do with the pencil. The writing is her handwriting. I was unsure if they were going to type it out and print it or if it was going to be her writing. I'm glad that I had her do the writing because there were some times where I just wanted to write it really quickly. But we took the time to let her do it all and I'm glad we did because I can see her writing on the lines. We used a blue pen. I would not use a blue pen again. I would probably use a black pen or even a permanent marker with a thin tip so that it's very dark and clear. Even some of these pages, the words are hard to read. There were times when we lost our blue pen, shock, <laughs> in my house, and uh, we decided, well, we'll just use a blue colored pencil to match the blue colored pen. And those words are even lighter. So you can see the difference. This is a pen and this is a pencil. So don't use a pencil. Now, the thing if you use a marker or a pen is you're gonna run into mistakes. We did a couple of times and we found ways to fix it. One time we even just taped a piece of white paper over it with the correct spelling. Um, but I do believe if you had some white out, it would be fine, especially if you were using a dark clear marker. So. I think if you're going to do this, make sure you have a bold black pen and make sure you have some white outs because mistakes are going to happen. Another thing is there is no um, the end or anything like that. The story just ends on the last picture. So she had written the end in her story, so that's there. But just so you know, when you're putting all yours together, the last page is the last page of your book. When we finished putting the book together, there was a sheet that we had to fill out to submit with the envelope that comes with the box. So I did not have to do any, pay for any shipping. I didn't have to get any envelopes. Everything was here in the box. There were very specific instructions on this sheet and the sheet that had um, the information about my daughter for the printing. So be very careful and make sure you read all of it before you send it in and before you send it right. You're gonna have to like label the page numbers and I believe you had to write their, her name on some of the pages. So it's just really important that you're gonna follow the directions that they give you. As far as shipping goes, the actual kit says that it will ship in two to three weeks. 
Now, we kind of had a funny situation. It says that there's high traffic towards the end of the school year, and that's kind of when we sent ours in. However, we waited almost six or seven weeks, and we received nothing. Although that's a negative, the upside to that is I called customer service and they were so kind to me. They explained to me that they had changed their address and the post office was holding on to some of their kits and they had never received them. So there was this big delay. Turns out that information was then later on their website, but she was so kind and apologetic and she looked up the book for me and told me where it was and what was happening with it. So it was very easy to call her and ask about it. Unfortunately, we waited about nine weeks for our book to come in, but it was definitely worth the wait. This is such a treasure that we can keep and she received it and was so proud. She's asking to do it again and my other daughter wants to do hers also. You know, if you have little ones, I really think that they can narrate a story to you and you could write it and it would be just as wonderful as this. I think it would be really cool if we did one each year. I mean, for the cost and what it does, it's just such a neat item to have. She really felt like an author and it was just neat to see her pride in that project. I'm gonna put a link to their website as well as the product. Keep an eye out for a sale. This would be a fantastic Christmas gift, but this would also just be a super fun school project or just a, an activity to do with your kiddo at home. Keep in mind the little tips and tricks I told you about because I think if you do those things, you're gonna turn out with a really, really cute book that you can read well and see well and you will treasure it forever.